A. This is, I think, the first time we've properly spoken since you've gone to Ferrari, which is absolutely outrageous. Now that I'm not anymore in an English team, you guys forget about me. Well, this is the thing. Clearly, we haven't. We still love you, and here we are. <laughs> Here's the first question. How is it? You enjoying it? <laughs> it is different. It is yeah? different, yeah. You can feel the different culture. You can feel the different way of doing things, of approaching things. But I'm learning a lot, and, and I'm enjoying it. Being a Ferrari Formula One driver is, I think, is in the bucket list of anyone. You know, Absolutely. Now my target is to be a Formula One Ferrari champion. What's the dog say? That's still a, yeah. a, a bit of a long way. On the streets of Monaco, Carlos Sainz takes a first podium for Ferrari. It has been a little bit of a mixed bag of the season. You had that fantastic podium in Monaco. Uh, you've been racing well since then. Silverstone, 26 points in the bag. It's very positive, so we're moving in the right direction. Things are looking up for Ferrari, yes? We are going, I think, in the right direction. I really like and enjoy the way the team is working back in the factory. I'm enjoying working in the simulator in next year's car. There's a lot of focus put on it, and honestly, I'm, I'm excited about the, what is coming. Can we at least say there's a good chance you'll finish best of the rest this season? Because McLaren are only 15 points ahead of you. They've had more podiums than us this year with Lando, and uh, and they are, I think, as competitive as us. I do believe that as soon as I get a bit more comfortable and I start putting weekends together the way I used to do in McLaren, I think they're going to have a tougher time than beating us than, than we are, they are right now. But uh, I'm getting there, and, and as soon as I get there, my target is to make their life more difficult. It must be just a little bit weird chasing the team you left last season. Well, I kind of knew that it was very likely that McLaren and Ferrari were going to be fighting each other. In the winter, I was talking to Lando, uh, how is the new car going and all that. And, uh, my, my intuition led me, or his clues and my intuition made me think that it was going to be a good, uh, good fun this year fighting them. Let's not forget, this weekend will be your 129th start in Formula One. Which... That makes me feel old. I mean, well, this, you're only 26. Can you please exactly you're say that? You're only 26. That. I'm 26, people. I'm not but, but that, that's 129 thing of... <laughs> races old. I'm 26 <laughs> years old. But that blows my mind because that puts you into the top 50 most experienced Formula no. One drivers of all time. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> can Carlos Sainz go around the outside? Yes, he can. Now, can he clear his hero? Can he go around the outside of the two-time world champion? Yes, he can. Carlos Sainz getting past Daniel Ricciardo. He'll be happy with that one. What are your long-term goals? My goal is to keep enjoying racing, keep being a better racing driver, you know, a better person, and, you know, also use that 3 million followers on Instagram or in Twitter just to have a good influence in people, and I'm just trying to enjoy myself as much as I can, as, at the same time that I look for every single thousands of performance out on track. Finally, the big one. Who's got the best hair in Formula One, you or Giovinazzi? Well, definitely not me right now. I mean, it looks pretty I, good to me. I, I, I Look at that. Hat I, off, instant perfection. I haven't had a haircut in uh, in uh, four months now, and uh, I has, I haven't gone to Madrid. I I only have one hairdresser that I can go to. And you need I'm to not go going to Madrid, to Madrid to because in Ferrari they are keeping me very busy, and I can go go to back to Madrid. And now I'm gonna be one month in in uh, holidays, and I'm gonna. Go, why am I telling you about my hair? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I asked you, I'm intrigued. And, uh, What's so special about this person in Madrid? Why do you have to go to them? It's just because he's the only guy that has ever touched my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, well, my mom once tried and I look so like no. a penguin. And since then, uh, never again. <laughs> so you won't let me run my fingers through your hair right now? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, uh, no. I had to ask. <laughs> Pleasure, as always. Go well this weekend. <laughs> Thank you.